You can never have too much glitter, especially on jewelry. Check out this glittery heart necklace. I love this orange with pink polka dots. I'm gonna have to make one for myself to match my shirt. Okay, so what you'll need to make this necklace is some stretchy necklaces. And I've got a few different kinds here. You can see you can get them in all different colors. The one I'm gonna use today actually feels really velvety and soft. Some lanyards in whatever color you want. Pony beads, also in whatever color you want. A hole punch, scissors, glitter in all different kinds of colors. Some tape, blue gel glue, some tacky glue, and some freezer paper. So to get started, the first thing you're gonna do is cover just a plain old piece of cardboard in freezer paper. And what we're actually doing is making a nonstick piece of or work surface. And then I'm just gonna secure it with a couple pieces of tape. And we're good to go. You just want it so it doesn't slide around. I've got one ready to go right here. The next thing you need is a little heart pattern, and you can check our website um, for the pattern. But all you're gonna do is trace it onto your freezer paper. And I'm actually using a paint pen. I've already shook it up. And you're just gonna trace around your heart pattern. But you could do these in whatever shape that you want. Okay, so leave that to dry. And then also, you might wanna make some little squares and I'll show you what we're gonna use those for later. The next thing you're gonna do is fill your shape. Let me move my pattern out of the way. You're gonna fill your shape with this blue gel glue and you want it to kind of be a nice even coating. I'll go around the border here first. Don't worry if you get outside the lines a little bit. It'll still look really, really good. And make sure there's no areas of freezer paper showing that looks good and you can do you can do your square also here at home you would want to make sure you let your black paint pen dry so you have a nice permanent square because you can reuse these later okay so the next thing you're going to do is fill your area of glue with glitter and just let all of the glitter sink in to the glue. Don't worry about getting outside the lines either because you'll see in a second when you peel off your, your piece, it's gonna just have a nice clean border. So I've got one that I've gotten ready here and see you can reuse these areas. Okay, so you end up with something like this. Let me put this over here. And now it's time to start assembling our necklace. So the next thing you're gonna do is hole punch your hearts. And believe it or not, this is almost just like paper, except it's more um, bendable. So you can just hole punch, and this is how we're gonna actually hang them on our necklace. You may want to also make some plain dots for making a polka dotted heart too, and you do that with your hole punch as well. I'm sure I've got all kinds of paper pieces in here from my other craft projects. Yep, I sure do. And so you can pull out your glitter ones here, like so. And now you're gonna use some tacky glue to stick these things together. So let's make one of those cute polka dotted hearts. And I'm just gonna make a little pattern around the border here. And pick up my red dots and just start putting them into place. Doesn't that look sweet? You could wear this on Valentine's Day or any day, really. And here's the last one. Okay, so I'm gonna just set that aside and leave it to dry. The other thing you can do is cut smaller heart shapes out of these pieces of glitter um, sheet that we made earlier. And you can either draw your heart shape on the back or what I like to do is just fold this over and show you a little trick. Fold your piece of glitter in half and then you can cut a half a heart shape here and then when you open it up you have a full heart how about that so I'm going to go ahead and put that on this other heart shape and since I have an extra purple dot from when I hole punched this heart 
I'm going to add it in the middle of this little heart to finish it off. Now to string these, make sure you close up your glue so it doesn't dry out. To string these, we're going to use these lanyards. And these are kind of tricky to open up at first because they're a little bit stiff. So you may need an adult to help you. I've got one open here, but to open them, you're just going to push down and slide that little piece out of the way. But then you also need to kind of pry it open a little bit. So now we can string them. So go ahead and you can put these either way. I like to leave the opening, the smaller part of the loop at the top, but you could put it however you want. You just want to make sure that when you close it, the closure is on the back side of the heart so you can't see it when you were wearing it. Okay, so I've got it closed up. Let me do a couple more here. Got my blue one opened up here. And you can make these in any pattern you want. Mine are kind of random. I'm going to put my bright blue at the, in the middle. And so the next thing we're going to do is just string these all together. And I've got one started here. And what you want to do is just slide it on using that smaller end of the loop and then finish it up with three more beads. You can put as many of your hearts on like I did with this one here. 